in Exodus chapter 15. I'm reading from verse 26 again. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and give ear, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Look at that verse very well. If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and then you will do what is right in his sight. What's that? That's holiness. Holding on to his word. Holding on to his word. When you do that, and you say, that word has been spoken. I will not let that word go. And you hold fast to his word. Healing will come to you through the word. I can't hear my people say amen. amen. Holding on to his word. We're looking at Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Hold on to that word. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. Look at this. For they, the words, are life unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. There's connection between healing, health, wellness, and holding on to his word. The connection between wellness and holiness. You open the door of the oppressed. We're looking at Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58. I'm reading from verse 6. You want to remain well. All those you have bottled up, lock the door again. All the people you have oppressed, and you have locked them in, in a chamber of terror. You will open the door for the oppressed. In Isaiah chapter 58, verse 6. Is it not this, the fast that I have chosen? To loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burden, and to let the oppressed go free. Free them in your mind. Free them in your life. All those habits and all those uh, types of character that will try to be a terror to people and will oppress them. Open the door of oppression. Let them go free. Let the oppressed go free. That's ye break every yoke. Is it not to deal thy bread to the hungry, and that thou bring the poor that are cast out to thy house? And when, when thou seest the naked, that thou cover him, and that thou hide not thyself from thine own flesh, that kind of secret life that you are living with your husband, with your wife, and you are not exposing everything. You are not opening the door. Open the door. Let there be freedom in your family. Let oppression be something forgotten in your family. What's going to be the result? Look at verse 8. Verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health shall spring forth speedily. I didn't hear an amen there. It says, age of holiness, hold on to the word, the word of promise. 
the word of power that you will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord your God and you will pay attention to that word and then oh of holiness you open the door for the oppressed that they will go free El, look to the Lord look to the Lord did you hear when I read it to you in Numbers chapter 21 look to the Lord is the great physician is the healer of the sick is the one that took your sickness to Calvary and he nailed it to the cross look to the Lord the great physician I'm looking at Numbers chapter 21 verses 9 verses 8 and 9 and the Lord said unto Moses make thee furry serpent and set it upon a pole and it shall come to pass that everyone that is speaking when he looketh when he looketh he looketh upon it shall live don't look at your symptom don't look at the medical books don't look at you know the swelling don't look at anything don't look at the bite but look to the lord when he looks upon it shall live and moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole and it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man when he beheld when he looked upon that serpent of brass he lived that's what Jesus was referring to in John chapter 3. John chapter 3. I'm reading from verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. You will have salvation. You will have healing. You will have deliverance. Your voice is tired. Each holds on to his word. He sent his word and healed them all. Speak the word only. And I and my servant will be healed. Hold to the word. Open the door for the oppressed. Take oppression away. Take all that terror and terrifying character away. Look to the Lord. I intercede for others. Many times, those who are sick, those who are having problems, they concentrate too much on self. It's like, look at my sorrow. Look at my problem. And look at this. And self-centeredness will come in selfishness will come in and while you're looking at yourself all the time yourself only that problem continues selfishness self-centeredness self-concentration makes the problem to remain but when you look away from yourself and you intercede for others you remember others while you are praying for other people, your own miracle will come your way. I said your own miracle will come your way. Intercede for others. We're looking at Job chapter 42. You know the problem that Job had? Boils all over the body and pain all over the body. And there were arguments and discussions here and there. But the healing did not come with argument. Look at verse 10, Job chapter 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. The Lord turned the captivity of Job, healed the sickness of Job took away the infirmity of Job when he wasn't looking at himself or praying for himself or mourning or being sorrowful because of his condition. When he prayed for his friends, 
also the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Intercede for others and name him as your physician. Name him as your physician. Is a great physician. And he has healed many like you. Whatever problem you are having now, whatever challenges you are going through now, you have solved that problem for another person before. When they made him the great physician, name him as your physician. And the name of Jesus will heal you. The name of Jesus will deliver you. Name him as your physician. We're looking at Acts chapter 3. And I'm reading from verse 6. Acts chapter 3 verse 6. Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I known. But such as I have. Look up here. I have something. I have something. And I have somebody. I have Jesus. I have Jesus. Is my savior. Is my deliverer. Is my healer. And I have his name in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tell me, rise up and walk. Look at verse 16. And his name, through faith in his name. His name, through faith in his name. Name him as your great physician. His name, through faith in his name, has made this man strong, whom you see and know. Yea, the faith which is by him has given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. In the presence of everyone today, your healing has come. Each hold on to his word. Oh, open the door for the oppressed. L, look to the Lord. I intercede for others and name him as your physician. He expect to be healed. Expect to be healed. What's your expectation this day? Expect to be healed. We're looking at Mark chapter 5. And I'm reading from verse 25. Mark chapter 5, verse 25. And a certain woman, which had an issue of blood, 12 years, and had suffered many things of many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was nothing bettered, but rather the grow worse. When she had heard of Jesus, came in the press, in the crowd, among the multitude behind, and touched his garment. For she said, here was her expectation. Here is your expectation. For she said, if I may touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. I shall be whole. I shall be whole. That's the expectation. Verse 29. And straightway, immediately, and straightway, the fountain of her blood, 12 years problem, dried up. It will dry up. It will vanish away. All those cancer germs will die up. And she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. That was her expectation. She got her expectation. Expect to be healed. Your healing has come. 
Jeremiah chapter 29. In Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. Tell me. Tell me out aloud. If you have such expectation, tell me, tell me. To give you an expected end. S, see no more. Look at John chapter 5. John chapter 5, verse 8. Jesus says unto him, Rise up, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole. When are you going to be made whole? Now, immediately, immediately, the man was made whole. Look at verse 14. Afterward, Jesus findeth him in the temple and said unto him, Behold, Thou art made whole, sin no more, lest he was seen come on thee, sin no more. You've been smoking, and that brought that disease, sin no more. You've been going after men and after women, and you've got venal disease, the Lord will heal you, but after that, sin no more. You have been enraged with anger. And, uh, you know, because of your lifestyle, it has uh, kind of heightened uh, your blood pressure. And if you go too far in that kind of anger and anxiety, you can die just like that. Sin no more, lest it was sin come on you. The Lord will give you grace. You will sin no more. Give a good amen now. Yes, serve the Lord, serve the Lord, serve the Lord. In Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, Exodus chapter 23, verse 25, And ye shall serve the Lord your God, and ye shall bless thy bread and thy water, and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. From your intestine, he'll take that sickness away. From your lungs, he'll take that sickness away. From your eyesight, he will take that glaucoma away. And from your bone, he will take all that leukemia away. I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. On what grounds? On the grounds that will serve the Lord. And there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren in thy land. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of my days I will fulfill. Accident will not kill you prematurely. The powers that be will not kill you prematurely. Anything from the sky, anything from the sea, anything from behind any curtain will not cut short your life. Hold unto his word. Open the door for the oppressed. Look to the Lord, intercede for others. Name him as your great physician. Expect a miracle today. Expect to be healed. Sin no more. Lest a worse sin come upon you, serve the Lord. He will heal you today. Ask, and it shall be given you. And you are acting as if you are the only one in the house. The Lord is telling this, ask, it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. You'll find it. Your expectation, you'll find it. Your desires, you will find it. Knock, 
it shall be opened unto you. That's the key that opens doors to your healing, to your deliverance, to the mercy of God, to the miracle of God. Knock at his door. Miracles will come out and meet you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. How many people? Everyone that asketh receiveth. I said how many people? Everyone that asketh receiveth. He that seeketh findeth. And to him, to her, to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. I am going to the door of the Almighty God. Behind that door, my miracle is waiting for me. My healing is waiting for me. My deliverance is waiting for me. And I come on, I come on, I come on. I knock, and I don't know for too long. The door is open. My healing comes out, and I receive it, and I go on rejoicing in Jesus' name. Why don't you tell the Lord, your miracle is coming. Your miracle is coming. Ask. It will be given to you. Ask, it will be given to you. There is no exception. There's no exception. Everyone, everyone, everyone that asketh receiveth. Whether the sickness is great or it is small, it's short time or it's long standing you know, or it's incurable, it doesn't matter. God is a God of power. God is a God of authority. And God is telling you today ask, ask ask it shall be given unto you seek and you will find knock and the door of mercy is going to be opened unto you it's going to be opened unto you understand hold on to his word hold on to his word don't allow that word to go if you will teach and hearken to the voice of the lord your god and you will receive that word hold on to that word the sickness of egypt the cancer of the world the tuberculosis of the world and the leukemia of the world and the insanity of the world will not be upon your life. And then I am the Lord that healeth you. Ask, it shall be given unto you. Open the door of the oppressed. If you are oppressing people, intimidating people, making people afraid, and making people uh, to be subdued, and you are covering them up, remove the lead. Open the door. Open the door of oppression and let the people go out free. As I said to the people, free you yourself, you'll be free. You cannot be oppressing other people and then think you are going to be free. You cannot hold down other people and then think you are going to be free. Open the door. For the oppressed, let the oppressed go free. Look to the Lord, look to the Lord. He has been lifted up, he has been raised up, and everyone that looketh shall live. Everyone, everyone, everyone that looketh, look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be ye saved. Look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth. And be ye healed. Look unto me, all ye the ends of the earth, and be ye delivered. Intercede for others. Give the same promise to others. Wish others well. Wish others happy. Wish others promoted. Intercede for others. Don't be a grudge. Job. Well, I've been bearing grudge. They argued with me. They accused me. They put me down. They didn't show love to me. There's no compassion. They condemned me. Job could have been bearing grudge. But no, he interceded for them. And as soon as he interceded for them, his captivity was turned. Name Christ as your great physician. Name Christ as your great physician. Faith in his name. Faith in his name. Faith in his name. 
got the man healed. Face in the name of Christ. Face in the name of Christ. Jesus, our healer. All our sicknesses are bare. And with all the Spirit's fullness, filling our hearts within, expect to be healed. Expect that the prayer of faith will heal you. Expect that the prayer of faith will take away your infirmity. Sin no more. Slander no more. Don't commit crimes anymore. Be going out and going out in the night. You'll be doing evil. You almost died. But the Lord has saved your life. Sin no more. Serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. He will bless your water. He will bless your bread. He will take sickness away from the midst of you. He will take sickness away. He will take sickness away. He will take sickness away from inside your body. Free. You'll be free indeed. Free. You'll be free indeed. coming your way healing and health wholeness and wellness soundness of body spirit and soul live by the word believe the word Hold on to the word. You remember his promise? Hold on to that. You remember his precept? Hold on to that. You remember all his pronouncements? Hold on to that. You remember the prophecy? Hold on to that. Hold on to his word. Cancel that character of oppression. Obliterate. Get rid of it. Throw it away. And that satanic joy of seeing other people suffer, you're oppressing them, it's coming from Satan. Throw it away. Open the door. For the oppressed, let them go out free. Look to the Lord. He's lifted up. He's raised up. Look up to him. The representation in the wilderness cannot be stronger than the Lord himself. He looked up to that brazen serpent, lifted up upon the pole, and they were healed. As we look up to the Lord, that that brazen serpent represented, it will heal you. First Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believers in him will not perish but have everlasting life look up to the lord intercede for others take selfishness away from your life intercede for others take self-centeredness away from your life you want to be happy let others be happy too 
You want to be delivered? Don't hinder the deliverance of others too. You want to have joy? Let others have their own portion of joy. Intercede for others. Name Christ as your great physician. Name Christ as your great physician. Name him as your great physician. He took my sin away. He took my sorrow away. He took my sickness away. Name him as your great physician. Expect to be healed. Expect to be healed. This day, expect your miracle. This moment, expect your healing. Expect your deliverance. That immediately, his name will 